Welcome to Brands Hatch in the southeast corner of England, venue for the second weekend of racing in the Speed Sports Prototype Series. Coming up, highlights from the three hour team endurance race around the full Bob Cruiser. A three hour race coming up here then at Brands Hatch, and it's the championship leaders, Team WFR, on pole position. Joey Foster setting the time in qualifying alongside Car 2 RLR Motorsport, Tom Bradshaw setting that time. And third on the grid, we've got the Ross Kaiser in for number nine machine. And all the UK, car number 34, starts fourth on the grid. Coming then around to complete the formation at the rolling start. The safety car has peeled into the pit lane. You're on board with car number 56 here, CTR Developments. Zubin Randiera and they are firing themselves now over the start line. After pause, 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 wait till they get going. In the middle of the pack, that number 56 car, but here are the front runners. Rising up then towards Paddock Hill Bender. Joey Foster gets a great start from pole position straight into the lead of the race. Tom Bradshaw's tucking in behind him in second place in the red, white and blue RLR Motorsport car. And this is Jean Lou Rion in the number 34 Norma UK car into Druitt's hairpin. He's held on to fourth place behind the number nine Norma of Ian Ford on board once again then coming into the left-hander at Graham Hill Ben in fourth place here good start this for Jean Lurion who's classified really as a gentleman driver but he's holding on to the shirt tails of the third place car the top two certainly breaking away Joey Foster in the lead there in the red and white Team WFR car and on board with Jean Lurion again he runs wide here onto the grass he goes the number four accurate racing car comes storming past half the field comes storming past he may have clipped the barrier there I think he got tagged from behind onto the grass just about keeps it in one piece back onto the trap and he's going to rejoin surely near the back of the field as the leaders then come storming into Hawthorne Bend there's the third place car and number nine and number four accurate racing then up to fourth place the other accurate racing car number three has had a decent start as well in third place here's a replay on board with Zubin Randaria and you can see the cloud of dust there as the silver Norma UK car went off onto the grass and certainly on board with the CTR Developments car, that picked up a place. John Lou Rion now with a lot of work to do as the top two come through to complete the end of lap number one. It's a tight battle over third place with the number nine Norma having two accurate racing cars now on its tail. You can see cement dust there from the previous race. The marshals having to clear up a fluid or an oil leak. So that's kicking up the cloud of dust, which won't help the uh, drivers. An attack here at the start of lap number two coming from the accurate racing machine, car number four, Phil Hall. Having a strong run here, back on board with the CTR Developments cars. It comes through Paddock Hill Bend, dropping down and then climbing up towards Druid's hairpin. Out of the hairpin now then, this battle for third place comes. And behind that, here is Jean Lurion recovering from that first lap incident, running wide, climbing up towards the tight right-hander. He's going to get inside one car, that's number 19, AEL Electronic Sourcing. And a position gain, and here's a position gain for third place as Phil Hall. The team owner of Accurate Racing comes charging through to move ahead of Ian Ford's Norma. The other Accurate Racing car of Adriano Medeiros is on its tail as well as they come down the back straight now up towards Hawthorne Bend and Medeiros has a look at the inside but there's no chance to get through there so he backs off. Long race ahead still. RLR Motorsport Barry Gates on the tail and so too is Simon Dolan. The white and orange Jota Sport car. That has had to come the Ligier from the full throw of the grid. There's the leader though. And he knows this circuit well, although he hasn't raced here for six years, Joey Foster. And second place for Tom Bradshaw. He's a single-seater racing background. Has done some endurance racing in this category as well. Joey Foster edging away now. A double Formula Ford Festival winner here at Brown Satch, both in the Formula Ford Kent engine class and the Z-Teng engine class. And of course, it's been a while since he's been here. He's most recently been racing in Australia in the Formula 3 Championship, where he's been a race winner. Now, the silver Norma, Ian Ford has dropped backwards here, lost another place to the accurate racing car. Barry Gates has gone past it too, so that one's going backwards. Simon Dolan trying to attack it next, and behind that little group, you're on board once again with Zubin Randaria in the Juno. He's having his debut in the Speed Series here, and doing pretty well. But just three places back there is the silver and yellow number of the recovering Jean-Lou Rion here. On the tail of Simon Phillips, almost losing the car under braking. He's got the horns out, that's for sure, as he goes into Paddock Hill Bend, trying his very hardest. There's another little scuffle going on between these four cars, at the head of which is the man carrying the onboard camera here, on the way into Druids, the CTR development car. And now with a bit of a battle forming up behind it, Jean-Lou Rion there is looking very racy indeed. Gary Ramsdale in the number 19 AEL Electronic Sourcing Radical at their debut in the Speed Series last time out at the Silverstone. And they are again at Brands Hatch. And there's the V8 520 great horsepower Mosler GT3. Team owner Dave Shelton behind the wheel at the moment. Carl traces 
regular basis in the Belgian GT Championship. Meanwhile, back to this battle here, side by side, number 41, Richard Burns in the Radical, getting very close to running into number 60, Simon Phillips, just about fending him off. These four cars still scrapping away behind them, the Class C leader, number 72, WSC Motorsport. Meanwhile, here come the accurate racing cars, now in the middle of them, Barry Gates has picked up another place, he's moved ahead of Adriano Medeiros. And here's number 22, the Woodcock brothers, Simon Dolan in Jota Sport. So more places lost, I'm afraid, for Ian Ford. Surprise that he'll qualify the car. It's a strong position on the second row of the grid. There's the Brazilian driver, Adriano Medeiros, former La Palma Audi racer. And here comes John Lou Rion now, trying to pick up a place. They've both moved ahead of Simon Phillips. And now he moves ahead of the number 41 radical of Richard Burns. So he's back on the tail now of number 56, the CTR Developments Judo, which you're on board with now as he flies across the start line and climbs up towards Paddock Hill Ben. John Lou Rion really attacking here after that first lap incident. And uh, this is the best I've seen in race for a while. And there is Simon Dolan coming from the fourth row of the grid. The team won a race already and he's about to pick up a place here, is he? Not quite. Couldn't get past the Woodcock Brothers machine. Strong run here, making forward progress on the fourth row of the grid. Now Simon Phillips gets a place back. That's him diving up the inside. Richard Ferns is radical. The number 41 car gives him a little wave as well, I'm afraid. There is smoke coming out of the back of Richard Ferns' radical, a car which he only took delivery of three days before this race. And here is Simon Dolan having another sniff up the inside of the number 22. Woodcock Brothers Ligier doesn't quite find a way through there. Coming out of Clark Curve the straight then down the dip rising up towards this blind right hand corner at Paddock Hill Bend the best corner surely in British motorsport if not in world motorsport they head up towards Druids and it looks like he was about to have another look into the hairpin and here's Jean-Louis Rion in silver and yellow for the 34 Norma continuing his progress right up there now with the CTI Developments car and the official race leader Joey Foster having very, very impressive run here at uh, the Speed Brands Hatch 3 hour race, the third round of the championship. But I'm afraid it's an early visit to the pits for Richard Burns. There's your race leader, Team WFR, the Ligier being driven by Cornishman Joey Foster. And there is the second place machine of our Motorsport, Tom Bradshaw behind the wheel, has qualified very well, not quite on the page of the race leader, but he's well clear of the rest of the field. Now up to third place now has come the lead RLR Motorsport car, there is Barry Gates, that is because I'm afraid we've lost one of the accurate racing cars, the number four machine, Bill Hall, has dropped backwards, there is number three accurate racing car, Andrew Medeiros, and number 47, Simon Dolan, is charging up towards him, so the accurate racing cars has got into the pits. Picked up into sixth position now, the number 22 car of the Woodcock Brothers, who had two very good, strong podium results in the opening races at Silverstone. And there's Jean-Louis Rion, number 34, the number UK car, which got punted wide and off the opening laps of the race at Surtees Corner. And it's a good comeback drive here, making his way back through the field. Getting past the Solomon car then. This is the battle between the accurate racing number three machine and Jota Sport with Simon Dolan's Ligier now attacking, going wide there, almost on the grass, trying to go around the outside into Hawthorne Bend and he makes the move, stick. So Simon Dolan, who gets better and better with every season, is uh, making his way now up into the top four in that car. There's a Class C leading car, number 72, WSC Motorsport. It's a radical, being driven by Graham Hill and Rod Stead this weekend. Indeed, at the moment. On board now with Zubin Randera, and there is Jean Lurion coming around the outside of him to pick up yet another place. Jean Lurion really is driving very well. A very experienced Nick Padmore, his teammates and driving coach, and it's paying off well. And there is the race leader, Joey Foster, for Team WFR, reacquainting himself with Grand Sancho race after racing away in Australia in the German F3 Championship in the United States. And there is Simon Dolan in fourth place in the number 47 car. To Motorsport cars in between him. And board with Zuben Randera, and he's losing a place here to Simon Phillips. Now, Simon Phillips was much slower than the number 56 Juno for the first part of the race. I wonder if he started to develop a problem. Another wave from Simon Phillips. This is a new habit, I think, waving at everybody he overtakes here at Brands Hatch. And here is Simon Dolan now on the tail of Barry Gates in the number one RLR Motorsport car. The team 
which finished second in last year's championship. There's Phil Hall. He's gone back out now in the accurate racing car. A blinding start to the race. And uh, made good progress to get himself in a podium paying position. The car developed a problem. And he's now several laps down. Much more to come from Brands Hatch. Join us in a few minutes.